What's up guys, it's Jay, more than to kill, and I'm back here on Grand Theft Auto 5, and this is episode 2 of Behind the Wheel. This is a series I do on my channel where we take a look at the cars from Grand Theft Auto, we take a look at their in-game stats, how they perform in-game, we compare them to their real-life counterparts, and I also show you where these vehicles can spawn. And today, we are taking a look at the True Fod Adder. Now, the True Fod Adder can be found in Los Santos, in an area known as Vinewood. It's gonna be right around the corner from a Ponson Bees, and it's gonna be in a little area of a villa of shoppies. Now, the one thing I will tell you about the Adder is, I have not seen this car here at night. I have only seen it here during the day, and I'm pretty sure that it's owned by the person that actually either owns this shop or works here. But it is a very easy car to steal, and you can also buy it online. But why would you want to buy it online when you could just steal it in Grand Theft Auto? So, we're taking a look at the in-game stats, and right away you can tell that the top speed and acceleration on this car are no joke. It has very poor braking, however, that's not a very big deal because the traction of this car is very good. So, if you go ahead and you glide around the corners without gassing it, you will be able to pretty much make almost any turn in this game. So, this car is modeled after the real life car known as the Bugatti Veyron, which is one of the fastest production cars ever made, and it lives up to its purpose inside this game with being the fastest car in this game. We're gonna take it down the runway of the airport in Los Santos, and we're gonna go ahead and blister through this entire runway in about 20 seconds, which should be around like 120, 130 miles per hour, which is goddamn fast. So this car actually handles very, very easily. Now I've never driven a Bugatti in real life because this is a $1 million car, but I have spoken to people that have driven this car and also watched an insane amount of footage on this vehicle and they say this is probably one of the easiest cars to drive that has high horsepower. Now, the reason this has high horsepower is because its motor is a W style 16 cylinder, which means it's basically two V8 blocks formed on an angle and they are monsters of a motor. And talking about monsters, it has quad turbochargers in the back. That's right, I said in the back, this is a mid-mounted engine vehicle, which means that the motor is mounted right above the rear axle, a little bit forward, and it gives it a great weight distribution inside this car. And that's where this car is gonna get its handling from. Not only that, but the four-wheel drive system, meaning that all the wheels are driving at the same time, give this car some of the most impressive handling that you will see. The only downside to this is that since it gets up to speed so fast, every crash you get in will be at a high rate of speed and the car will be broken faster than you would actually like. Now while it's a great car for getting around town, it is a very poor car, in my opinion, from getting away from police. Three stars or higher. One star, two star is pretty easily. It can outrun them choppers, but don't let it take out your tires. A very good modification for this would be some bulletproof tires and some extra brakes. That way you will improve the braking on your vehicle. Now, these cars are probably one of the rarest cars in the world. There are only six of these cars made per year and they do show their rarity inside GTA. So make sure you go out there and get yourself a GTA style Bugatti from the spawn point that I showed you. So my name is Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos and series for you motherfuckers that watch my videos and motherfucking series on YouTube. <laughs> I almost fucked that up. So, like I said, my name is Jay More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.